Hey everyone, it's Bree, and today we are playing on creative mode while I answer some of your guys' questions. Uh, quite a few of you asked me to do a Q&A, so I figured why not do a cute little creative mode build and and get to know each other better, you know? Because I, I, I realized I, you guys know nothing about me. I don't, I don't talk about myself in my videos. I, I figure let's do a fun little Q&A. First, I need to figure out what I want to build. Because I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. What is this? What the frick is this? Is this an Iceland? <gasps> oh my god, it's an Iceland. Oh my god, it's an Iceland. We can build something by the mushrooms. Oh, all mushrooms. What, <gasps> what is this? Oh my god, they're mushroom cows. Oh, this is amazing. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, what? Oh my gosh, there's a mushroom! Guys, I'm freaking out right now. Has this always been in the game? Mushroom cows? We're gonna- we're gonna build a mushroom house, okay? We're- <laughs> Mushroom house. Right here. Just smack dab in the middle. Is there mushroom? Yes, there is! Mushrooms! How cute. Wait, is there moss? I feel like there needs to be, like, moss. Why isn't there, like... Why is it just... What is this stuff? What is this? Oh, whoops. I guess I can't look at it. Oh my god, I'm in love, you guys. What a way. What a way to start off this, this world. Mushroom cows. That's it. That's the video. Mushroom cows. <gasps> I'm in love. Okay, so we're just gonna build like a cute little mushroom house, I guess. Let's do let's do the first question first. I'm also not gonna add anyone's names because one, I don't know if you guys want me to, and then two, I'm I'm really bad at pronouncing names, um, and I don't want to offend anyone by completely ruining their name. So yeah, I'm just gonna crop the names out because I don't I don't know if anyone wants their name shown to be honest. These aren't going in any particular order, by the way. So this first person says, Hello, I'm loving how the series is going so far and the progress being made. Epic how you already were brave enough to face the warden. Thank you. My question for you would be, do you play any instruments slash have you ever been in band? Band geek for life? Question mark. Are you going to do any more Minecraft build ratings? I actually was in band from fourth grade up until my freshman year of high school. Um... I started off in band in fourth grade playing the clarinet. Uh, technically, I wasn't allowed to choose what instrument I played though because all throughout elementary school I was in speech classes because I I don't know what exactly was wrong with my, my how I said things I don't know if it was because I had like a lisp a really bad lisp or I just had like some like type of speech impediment so I had to do speech classes and the only instrument time frame because the, the classes were like spread different periods based on what instrument you played um, and the only one that I was able to make the time for was clarinet so I played clarinet fourth through fifth grade and then when I got into middle school um and I was able to like pick what instrument I wanted to play I ended up switching to oboe and I stuck with that for quite a while until I started doing field shows and then that's when I started learning how to play tenor saxophone because anyone who plays oboe knows that marching while playing oboe sucks ass it sucks. It's the worst thing ever. It freaking sucks. Okay. <laughs> Marching while playing oboe is just horrible. Like your reed is so fragile and they're so expensive too. So like I remember I tried like when we would do parades, I would play oboe and I remember there was one time I like kind of fumbled and my tooth hit the reed and just completely split it and I had to like just pretend I was playing the entire parade and then I had to spend $20 on a new reed because they're 
freaking expensive for some reason. So yes, I was a band geek. I ended up quitting though after my freshman year of high school because there was just a lot of drama in in the band world. In the band community, there was just a lot going on and I just didn't want to be a part of it. Um, so I ended up switching over to theater or drama class and then that's what I did for like the remainder of my high school days. Um, but honestly, I do still consider myself a band geek. Like, I still want to, like, buy myself a saxophone. Because I fell in love with playing saxophone. It was, it was my favorite instrument I learned. Um, so yeah, band geek for life, for sure. And then the second question was if I was going to do any more build ratings. And I am. I actually, I did get quite a few more submissions. Um... I'm just, I'm currently trying to, like, scope out Reddit for some other builds to rate, but see, on Reddit, everyone posts their, their best builds, and I want, I want, like, mediocre builds. I want builds where you can just tell that, you know, it was just an average person who made it. That, that, th those are the builds that I want to rate. You know what? Shame on you guys for not telling me that there's mushroom cows in Minecraft. Do you know how far- do you know the lengths I would have gone to find this place in my survival mode land? Y'all are- y'all are fake. Y'all are fake people not telling me anything. Didn't even know there was an ice land. Wow. Wow. Fake friends. Next question. This person asked quite a few questions. They asked, are you a night owl or an early bird? Do you have a job slash studies aside from YouTube? Do you have any inspirations? What's your most favorite beverage? I consider myself a night owl. I absolutely hate the morning. The morning air makes me nauseous. I hate, I hate morning air. And honestly, anyone who's happy in the mornings, fuck you. I don't like you. <laughs> I don't like morning people. They piss me off. <laughs> Y'all make me mad. Like, I, w I honestly wish I was a morning person, but I just... I can't do it. It's just... There there's too much going on in the world, you know? Like, nighttime, it's so, like... It's relaxing. It's quiet. Like, it's just mellow. It's nice. There's not, like, traffic and freaking just people everywhere. Like, I wish... I, I miss when Walmarts were open 24-7 in my, like, area. Because, like, going to Walmart at 3 in the morning was just such, like, a fever dream feeling. I miss it. The world is not meant for night owls, and I hate it. <sighs> a girl can dream. A girl can dream. And then her next question was, do I have a job slash studies aside from YouTube? And I do. I I was working as a vet assistant. I had gotten my certificate through an online school during COVID. Um, and that's what I thought I wanted to do like as a career. I, I wanted to work with animals and work my way up to becoming a vet tech. But then working a year in like the vet med field made me absolutely hate it. People are so rude. To like vet assistants and like if you aren't the doctor clients just treat you so badly and it just it made me i didn't like it and also like some of the doctors that you work with are just so conceited and i don't know it just made it made me change like want to change career paths um so i'm currently in school full-time while i do youtube uh and i'm going to school to get my associates in science at the moment and then after I do that I want to go into a dental hygienist program because when I was working as a vet assistant slash vet tech um, the first place I worked at trained all the assistants as technicians and we would do dentals on cats and dogs and I had so much fun doing those like Cleaning dogs' teeth were it was such like a like a an accomplished feeling like you like I don't 
people say that human mouths like anytime i tell someone that i'm studying to become a dental hygienist and they're like why humans mouths are so disgusting like have y'all ever been like deep in a dog's mouth before it's not a pretty place to be like you guys don't understand like you guys the stuff that you find in between teeth, dog's teeth, it's nightmare inducing. It is disgusting. <laughs> like, I remember one of my coworkers, the first time she did a dental, she almost threw up. She couldn't finish because of how nasty this dog's mouth was. But I thought it was fun. I like gross, I like gross stuff. I, 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 I was having a great time doing it, <laughs> so figured I'd make it a career and work on human's teeth and I'm also like very obsessed with like cleaning my own teeth and why not ha be like set and have a for sure like dental dental plan you know like I'm I'm gonna be working with a dentist I get free dental work done I never have to worry about a thing and dental work is expensive so really I'm just looking out for myself <laughs> And then her next question is, do you have any inspirations? I talk about this a lot with my friends and stuff because I feel broken. So growing up, you know, people always talk about like, oh, this person's my role model. Like this person inspired me to do this and that. And I just I never had that. I never had role models growing up. I've never like people like I don't know. I've never seen someone do something and like been like super inspired by it and like wanted to do it myself I guess and I'm jealous of people who have like a ton of role models because I feel like I'd probably be a little further ahead in life if I had role models I just I don't know I just never like had role models growing up Sure, like, I'll see, like, certain things online that inspire me to try things, I guess. Like, I used to be really into painting and drawing, and I would, I would watch, like, videos of people doing certain projects and stuff, and that, those kind of things inspire me to, like, try my own kind of, like, creative process stuff, I guess. Um... But yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to answer this one. I don't know. You inspire me. All of you. You guys inspire me to make videos. <laughs> and then her last question was, what's your favorite beverage? Um, I love water. I'm, I'm one of those people who's just like, water, water's the best. Water's, water's the best for you. It's the best beverage. I do love water, um, but I also really love root beer. Root beer is my fave. I love my barbecue tasting soda, okay? I'll tell you what the worst beverage is, Dr. Pepper. Anyone who enjoys Dr. Pepper, kindly check yourself into a mental hospital. Why? Dr. Pepper's the nastiest tasting soda on the market. Why, why would you choose that to be your favorite? Shame on you. Okay, my mushroom walls are up. Next question. So this person asked, what is your favorite game genre? What kind of music do you tend to listen to while playing games? Do you consider yourself to be a pro in any? Do you have any pets? Um, my favorite genre of game changes constantly. I, you know, mm, I would have to say MMOs are my favorite, mainly because World of Warcraft is one of my favorite games. Um, I just feel like MMOs, like, there's always something to do. Like, you, you are, you're never bored, you know? There's always something new to do. Or, like, any type of game where just new content is always, like, coming out. Um... I really, I used to be into like shooter games, like Destiny was, it, that Destiny used to be my favorite game, actually. I was completely obsessed with Destiny, that's all I would freaking do. As soon as I got home, I would turn on Destiny and 
play with my friends. That's all I did. Um, and then, like, I got really into, like, choice-based games. Um, I don't know if... I don't, I don't know if that's, like, the right term for that genre. If anyone has played Until Dawn, like, I love those types of games. Where it's just, like, kind of a what you choose affects the game outcome. Um, those ones are really cool to me. But, yeah, my, my favorite types of games always change. It's really just what I'm in the mood for. But overall, I think I feel like MMOs are probably, like, always, I'm always going to go back to MMOs. He also asked, what kind of music do I listen to? That's another one that changes. It really depends what I'm doing. So, if I'm, like, doing, like, hard... So, like, in World of Warcraft, for example, you do these things called Mythic Pluses, which is you team up with four other people... You get a tank, a healer, and three DPS. And you go through dungeons, and you have to time it. You have 30 minutes to complete the dungeon. So, like, you kind of have to not die. <laughs> so, like, when I'm doing, like, stuff like that, that's, like, very, like, hearts pounding, anxieties up, like, whew, like, keyboard smashing type of stuff. Like, I'll listen to a lot of, like, alternative rock. I went through a pretty heavy emo phase growing up. I had freaking black hair with red stripes in it, full blue hair. I had like the thick dark eyeliner, went to warp tour. I <laughs> I had I had a big emo phase. Um but I still listen to the music that I would listen to, like Falling in Reverse. Freaking I don't really listen to um, the band that got me into that music, which was Black Veil Brides. I don't really listen to them anymore. I used to love like Pierce the Veil, My Chemical Romance, stuff like that. I still listen to it though. Um, but another genre that I listen to a lot would probably just be like indie music. Um, like if I was, if I were to be like listening to music right now while building this, I would be listening to indie music. So like one of my favorite indie bands, they're, they kind of have a, a weird name, but they're called Rainbow Kitten Surprise, <laughs> but they have really cool music. I guess they're not really indie, but I am really into the band Glass Animals. Like I absolutely love their first album. They just, they just have like a chill vibe type of music, you know, if anyone listens to them, Th their first album, specifically has a very like you can just chill to it it's kind of like to me their first album reminds me of like stoner music kind of i don't know if you can say that on youtube but stoner music and then he also asked if i consider myself a pro in any games um i don't know if you guys have been watching my playthrough of minecraft <laughs> i absolutely suck at video games I just play them for the fun of it. It's a fun hobby for me. I'm not good at them in any way. Um, I'm decent at World of Warcraft only because I've been playing it for so long. But even then, like, I still kind of suck at it. Uh, the only game that I would consider myself an absolute like pro at is probably Super Mario Sunshine. Only because I have played that game start to finish not even exaggerating, probably over a hundred times. I have been playing that game since it came out. I still play it. I have it on my Switch now. And I, I, I still break it out every now and then and just do a quick run through. Like it takes me about like two and a half hours to beat the game completely. Um, so I can do like a, a small speed run of that game. Um, I can't do like the crazy freaking glitch moves that like professional speedrunners do, but like I can I can finish the game pretty fast. So I I consider myself kind of a pro in that game. But that's about it. Uh, maybe Pokemon Battle Stadium. I'm 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 pretty good at Nintendo 64 games. And then they asked if I have any pets, and I do. I do have pets. I have four pets. I have three cats and a dog. 
my oldest cat, she is about seven years old, I think. And her name is Pixie. And then my second oldest, Sushi, she is... I think she turned three this year. And then my youngest, Iroh, he is about nine months now. And then my dog, Marley, he is four. So this next question is, would you consider having your own Minecraft server that your fans could join and play with you? You can make it a higher tier on your Patreon to join. That is actually a really good idea. I actually have been wanting to make my own Minecraft server. The only problem is, like I've been, um, people have invited me to theirs and I'm completely like down to play with you guys. Um, and thank you to anyone who has like sent me server like um invites the only issue is at the moment where i live i don't have internet i i use this little t-mobile hotspot box that like barely works half the time it it works but it's very slow like i've tried going onto minecraft servers before to check them out but they like never fully load and they just lag a bunch um, so it's kind of just really, I have to, I'm going to have to wait till I move in a few months. I've, I'm on a wait list currently for an apartment, um, which also kind of answers another question that I was asked, which was, am I going to be streaming anytime soon? And yes, I am. I do want to stream. That was originally what I wanted to do. I wasn't planning on doing YouTube to begin with. I wanted to do streaming at first, but I figured, okay, I can't stream right now because I don't have internet. Might as well have fun and like make some YouTube videos, you know? Um, so yes, I am going to be streaming. I am going to be making a server. It just, it, it's not going to happen until I get my apartment, sadly, because I live in the middle of nowhere. I live on a ranch and it's just very hard to get internet out here. Like half the time my phone service doesn't even work. So it's kind of, it's lame, but eventually, hopefully like not too much longer. Um, hopefully by like the end of June, we'll have our place. Uh, and then I can start doing a, a lot more stuff. I can interact with you guys a lot more. Um, I do have a Discord server for y'all to talk to each other. It's not the most active. <laughs> um, we definitely need more people on there. But sadly, I can't like play with you guys yet. I've tried going onto voice chat before on Discord and it just... It doesn't work because of my internet. Anyone who sends me the server invites, I'm not ignoring you guys. I just, I keep having to tell people like, oh, I don't have internet and it just kind of burns me out. So eventually though, eventually I will be playing with all of you guys. That sounded not good. Uh, we will be playing Minecraft together eventually. <laughs> So this next question is, if you can go back in the past, where would you go and why? Could you also try to include something like piston, dispenser, etc. in the build? I will be honest, I tried watching a tutorial on like the piston stuff. I don't understand it. I tried. I The only way I would be able to include it in a build is if I was following a tutorial step by step. I wouldn't be able to like, like this, like I don't know what I would do with a piston. like. I still don't understand. I know it's supposed to like move stuff together or something. I don't know. I've, I've watched so many like little TikToks on it recently and I, <laughs> I can't grasp the idea of it. Maybe in the future, I'll try to do like a, like a follow along tutorial just so I can kind of get the hang of how to do it. But Currently, no, I will not be trying to do it because it will not work. I already can guarantee that. I will completely botch anything I try to do with a piston or a dispenser or anything. But to answer your first question, if I can go anywhere in the past, where would it be and why? Um, 
to be honest, you know, I've, I've thought about time travel quite a lot throughout my years. Like, I feel like most people have, like, oh, if I can go back, I would do this. Um, honestly, the furthest I would go back is probably to when I was, like, in kindergarten. Just to re- or maybe not even kindergarten. Like, right before starting school. Just so I can appreciate the- the- well, I guess I wouldn't- if I were to go back, I would still be the same age as I am right now. Scratch that. I don't know. I don't think I want to go back in time. So much fucked up shit has happened in the past. I don't- I don't think I want to experience that. Like, I don't want to see people get treated badly just because of them being a human being, you know? I- I- I'm more interested in going into the future. That's- that's what I'm interested in for time travel. Yeah, not- not too interested in going to the past. There's always those people who are- who are like, oh, I want to go back to the 50s where like dating was different and people actually went on dates and stuff and it's like, yeah, but it was the 50s. Like, there wasn't that great of things happening in the 50s, you know? Maybe the 20s just to go to like one of those parties. What are they called? The flapper parties, whatever those things were called, flapper girls. Just to just to dress like that. Maybe maybe like way back when like Vikings were a thing. I don't know. I don't I don't know. I wanna go to the future though. That that sounds more fun. So this next question says do you plan to play Minecraft mod packs in the future? They add a lot of content and it is so fun completing quests. And then his next question is, do you watch anime? Um, I do wanna actually play Minecraft with some different mod packs. If I am not mistaken, it like, I don't know if this is an actual mod pack. I'm not exactly sure what mod packs are, um, but I saw one where it was like Pokemon. Is that a mod pack? I swear I saw it. I. For anyone who actually knows me, like, I love Pokemon. I consider Pokemon a hobby. Um, I collect cards. Like, if anyone wants to send me Pokemon cards, hit me up. I will give you my address. <laughs> I love Pokemon. I love Pokemon plushies. I Pokemon was like my entire childhood. Me and my cousin growing up would literally just play Pokemon. Like, not play video games like we would pretend we were pokemon and like battle each other like we both were very into pokemon he grew out of it i didn't i still i still love pokemon like i still have the pokemon rap memorized maybe when i start streaming i'll sing it for you guys with my beautiful singing voice that i wish i had but yes i do i do plan on trying different mod packs out for minecraft just to just to add a little little pizzazz to the gameplay, you know? And then his next question, do I watch anime? <laughs> so, I I appreciate anime, okay? I really do. I think the culture behind it is really cool. I feel like people who watch anime are the coolest people. Me, personally, I have tried w watching anime before. Um, I just get so overwhelmed trying to pick one to watch because there's so many options like i'll start one but then i'll be like but i want to like watch this one first and so i'll start that one and then i'll be like no but I'll, i i want to watch this one because people are talking about this one and then i just like give myself anxiety and then i never finish any the only one i ever finished was i can't even remember the kakaguru kakaguru i don't even know how to say it it's the one where you, they're like they're, they're going to a gambling school or whatever. That was the only one that I completely finished. I love that one. Um, I really want to watch Full Metal Alchemist, though. I've seen a few clips of that one, and I feel like I would actually enjoy that one, to be honest. If you guys have any anime recommendations, send them to me. Because I can't choose for myself. I am so indecisive. Like, I- there's so- like- I'll go on Netflix or whatever, and 
try to look for one to watch, and then I'm just like, I can't, I can't do it. Just, just too many options. I'll probably start Full Metal Alchemist. It that's the one where the the dad turns his daughter into a dog, right? Right? What? what which one is that? Is that Full, Full Metal Alchemist? I don't know. That's the one that I want to watch, though. The one where the dad, the scientist dad or whatever, turns his daughter into a dog. Okay, next question. This person asks, what's your favorite Minecraft mob and your favorite wood type? Favorite aesthetic? Question mark. Well, my favorite Minecraft mob is the mushroom cow, obviously. Look at it. It's so funny freaking cute. So the mushroom cow is now my favorite like chill mob in Minecraft like just like the the animals oh. and then my my favorite like monster one ooh I don't know that's a really good question <laughs> uh hmm honestly I really like the gas like I make fun of them a lot but I think they're cute. They kind of like sound like a little like cat to me. I think someone told me that the gas were like designed after someone's cat. I don't know. I like the noises they make. So I'm, I'm going to say the gas. The gas are my favorite. And then he also asked my favorite wood type. Uh, what are they? I like I like the birch. The, bir the birch wood. I like, I like the simple stuff, but when the cherry blossom stuff comes, that is going to be my favorite for sure, because I love cherry blossoms IRL. They, it's so cute. Um, pink wood? Yes, please. Once cherry blossoms come out in this game, I'm completely redoing my house in my survival world. Because I, I need I need it. I need a pink house. It's gonna be the strawberry cow house. That's what it's gonna be called. I don't know what what I'm doing. I feel like we need some light in here though. Let's uh let's get some torches. He also asked what my favorite aesthetic is. And I'm gonna be basic, like everyone else. Cottage core. <laughs> I love cottagecore stuff. It's so cute. Like this whole little thing. Love it. But I also like, um, I saw a lot of people doing like modern modernization type builds. I think that's cool too. Like pe people can actually make things look like actual towns and stuff. Like that, that's cool to me. Personally for me, I, I enjoy cottagecore looking looking stuff i think it's just very cute and pretty i'm very into like fairy tale type looking looking things fantasy land stuff i think it's cute i don't know cottagecore if i could live in a mushroom in real life i would so this next question is what is your favorite thing about minecraft and making videos um my favorite thing about minecraft is you can really just do anything like, there's no time limit to do something. Like, if I wanted to, you know, I can just build all the time. Or if I wanted to, I can just kill zombies and skeletons the entire time. You know, there's no, there's no limit. I mean, it is a sandbox game after all. I just, I like the freedom to just do whatever. Plus, I just... Building stuff is just so fun. Like, <laughs> I'm literally just building stuff. Look at this. And there's a mushroom cow. Like, what? Minecraft is... I don't know. It's just very unique. I love it. Um, but my favorite thing about making videos... I just... I, I like the feeling of putting out content that people like and enjoy. I love, like, seeing feedback from all of you. Um, I also really enjoy editing. Like, it's it's very fun to me to be able to edit and take my time and make sure what I'm making is gonna is gonna be enjoyable to people. Like, even if it even if I'm not getting like a bunch of views and stuff. Like, that's th me starting YouTube was never about me like 
getting views and stuff. It, mainly, it was for me to play video games. Um, but I also just wanted to make funny edits, really. Like, that's all it was. I wanted to just mess around. I wanted to learn how to video edit was, like, the main goal. Um, when I first started this, I... <laughs> I wanted to, like, take video editing classes, but then I was just like, you know, I can just, like, do this at home. I don't have to spend money at school to, like, take a class where I can just, like, teach myself by watching, like, YouTube tutorials and stuff. I ended up getting Sony Vegas first. That's how I first learned how to edit. Um, and I absolutely hate that program. No offense, Sony Vegas, but I don't know. It just... It wasn't for me. I didn't enjoy using it. Uh, that's what I used for like my first few videos. And then I ended up switching over to Adobe Premiere. And I've been using that one ever since. It's a much better program. Um, but I feel like I still have a bunch to learn for video editing. But I feel like I every time I edit, I am slowly progressing to where I want to be and it makes me happy every time I see comments where people are like mentioning my my edits I don't know it makes me happy so that that's like my favorite thing about videos though is just kind of seeing and hearing what people like because it kind of it keeps me going you know what that's what inspires me going back to that that the first question I got or the third question I got of what inspires me honestly like feedback feedback inspires me I appreciate everyone who like tries to help me with like the gameplay aspect because I definitely like can't learn everything on my own but I do try to avoid looking at certain comments because I do kind of want to like figure some stuff out on my own I don't want it to just be like an easy like oh you just do this and like I don't know it kind of takes the fun out of it but if I'm like completely stuck, then I'll definitely go back and kind of skim through the comments of people trying to help me out. I definitely get inspired to keep going and making more videos when you guys are giving me feedback about like the video itself. Next question. When are you going to play True Ingredients? I'm going to play True Ingredients soon. I promise. It might be the video I put out after this one. So this next question is, if I can add any mythical or real animal to Minecraft, what would it be? And that is an amazing question. Honestly, thank you for asking. I would add, it would, it would have to be a mythical animal for sure. Um, but we'll, we'll do both. For a mythical animal, the Loch Ness Monster. Like, imagine just having a Loch Ness Monster. Like, you tame a Loch Ness Monster. It's just in the water. You ride it everywhere. Amazing. Oh, my door. What the fuck? Minecraft should add the Loch Ness Monster. Definitely. For a real animal, they should add kangaroos. I love kangaroos. Are there kangaroos in Minecraft? I don't think there is. I don't think there is mine kangaroos in Minecraft. Um, so they should they should get on top of that and add and add that, please. I'm trying to make a kitchen, by the way. I don't I don't know how well I'm doing. Um, I don't know what I need. <laughs> See this is I feel like this is when it would come in handy to know how to do the piston stuff, because I saw someone like make a kitchen sink. Okay, next question. This person asks do you have any pets? If not, what's your favorite animal? I already answered the pet one, so I'll just go with my favorite animal. My favorite animal, I have like different categories <laughs> for favorite animals. Like I have a favorite sea animal, I have a favorite land animal. Uh, so my favorite sea animal are orcas. I love orcas. I think they're so freaking pretty. They're scary, but they're very pretty animals. And also, the fact that they're not even whales, they're just giant dolphins, makes it even better because everyone's like, oh my god, it's a whale. It's not a whale. It's a dolphin. Um, but then my favorite land animal... My favorite land animal... <laughs> What's my favorite land animal? Australian possums, the golden possums. I love possums. 
probably 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 the golden possum is my favorite yeah de definitely the golden possum they're just really cute if you don't know what that is definitely look it up it's cute i also really love beluga whales because they just look so stupid <laughs> they're just they're just stupid looking little whales but they're so cute in a in a stupid way next question this person asks are you continuing your minecraft survival series hope so i want to see you get full netherite set and kill the dragon and get the elytra elytra um yes i am i am continuing my minecraft series i've just been kind of wanting to also add some more games onto my channel just so it's not full minecraft um, I feel like I get asked this every time I post something that isn't Minecraft. Everyone's just like, oh my gosh, you're quitting. You're quitting Minecraft. And I'm like, no, I just want to play other, like there's, before I even posted Minecraft, like I had other games on my channel. Um, this is a very big table that doesn't need to be like that. Um, but yes, I'm always going to be playing Minecraft I'm always going to be doing like my survival mode I just wanted to like kind of have a variety just in case someone else wanted like something a little different besides like the survival mode like creative mode videos or even just like random build videos um yeah I just kind of want to change it up now and then nothing nothing wrong with that but my, my survival mode will always be there. It'll it'll always be happening. Don't don't worry. It's always gonna be a thing. This next question is: What are some of your hobbies and interests? Well, I have a lot of hobbies, and then I get rid of my hobbies. I definitely have an issue of I see something that I want to do, and then I do it for a while, and then I forget about it. I used to be really into painting. And so I bought a bunch, a bunch of art supplies and then stopped. <laughs> um, but then I, I always end up going back to my hobbies. So I kind of, I still, I still count them as being hobbies. So some of my hobbies, um, drawing, painting, I was really into roller skating there for a bit. I still have my roller skates and I kind of want to start getting back into it and making like little... Not on my YouTube channel, but like maybe on my TikTok, I want to make little, I don't know, cute little roller skating videos. And then video games I count as a hobby. I also really love watching true crime videos on YouTube. Um, that's kind of all I do on YouTube is watch true crime stuff. Is there not a bowl? I feel like, oh cake. Can I put cakes on my thing? Um, I love true crime, like documentaries, podcasts, I, yes, true crime is an interest and a hobby for me. Another hobby that I recently got into actually was, is Legos. Um, I got bought a Lego set for Christmas and it just like trick, I used to love Legos growing up and it just triggered something in me that I just needed to, I needed to start start making lego builds again let me show you it was this little minecraft thing i got it for christmas yeah and then i bought this i haven't done it yet i can't tell if it's in focus it's like a little pokemon pokemon mega blocks lego build because another thing that I want to do on this channel I want to have kind of a like a ASMR gameplay type stuff where it's just kind of me like rambling but like quietly school's kind of a hobby for me like I love doing homework and stuff <laughs> which is kind of weird gardening's kind of a hobby for me I like plants I actually really love plants but where I am there's just no room for plants like at all and it sucks to be honest like I wish I could have all the plants in the world like I I like I like doing stuff with my hands my mom had bought me a wood burner for like as a gift and I haven't used it yet but I love watching wood burning videos so I feel like I would I'll really enjoy wood burning and then video editing video editing editing is kind of a hobby for me um nothing too crazy 
I also, I don't know if it would, I guess it's kind of a hobby. During the summer, I really like boogie boarding. I also love taking my goggles into the ocean and looking for shells. <laughs> um, I love collecting shells. Shells are, yeah. And then I like collecting plushies too, Pokemon plushies, Pokemon cards. That's kind of a hobby for me. Um, I have like a lot of random little hobbies. TikTok, does TikTok count as a hobby? Honestly, I used to have a lot of hobbies, um, but for some reason, the past few years, I've just been really battling with depression and anxiety. And I kind of, I don't know, kind of abandoned a lot of the things I like to do. But kind of my goal for this year is to get back into doing stuff I love. Um, the past few months, like, I've gotten really into the gym. Like, I try to go almost every day. And that, like, <laughs> I used to, like, get mad when doctors would be like, Oh, exercise. It helps with your depression. And I'd be like, you don't understand. That's not going to help. Blah, 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 blah. It does. It, it really does. It, <laughs> it does help. But... It doesn't help all the time, is the thing. <laughs> this next question is, what got you into doing YouTube? I kind of answered that in another answer. Um, but it, I mainly started YouTube because I couldn't stream. So I kind of used YouTube as just like a way to deal with not being able to stream. But then I also wanted to learn how to, you know, video edit. And then also kind of watching my my younger brother does youtube um and seeing like how much fun he had with it it kind of made me want to try it out and now i really love it it's such a fun thing to like get into like even if you like like youtube's so cool because you can just do anything like you can just sit there and eat in front of the camera and record it and put it on YouTube and there's gonna be people who want to watch that if, if anyone is interested in doing YouTube you should just do it like I am a very shy person in real life like I don't socialize with people like I have a very hard time making friends um, I suck at small talk I suck at starting conversations honestly YouTube I'm glad that I had to start off with it instead of streaming because I don't think I would have done streaming. If I had the chance to do streaming first, I probably would have ended up not doing it because of how shy and awkward I am. <laughs> um, so I'm kind of glad that it turned out me having to do YouTube first because it kind of got me used to just talking and getting comfortable with myself. Um, my biggest thing was like, I, I didn't want to hear myself talk, you know? I, I didn't like my voice, I, people, I was scared people were going to make fun of me or whatever. So doing YouTube definitely kind of helped me get over my fear of that. Like, I always trip out when I'll go back sometimes and like look at my first ever video and I was so awkward in it. Like it wasn't even that long ago. But you can kind of see like the difference in my voice. I don't do it on purpose, but <laughs> when I'm when I'm uncomfortable, I talk in a very high pitched voice. Like especially when I'm meeting someone new. It's just a I don't know why it happens. It's just something that I've always done. So you can kind of see that in my first videos. But then my voice just starts kind of getting deeper and deeper the more videos I put out. That wasn't even the question, but yeah, anyways. <laughs> Next question. What's the story of your life? Jeez. Uh, that's like a five hour video in itself. Uh, story of my life. Well, I grew up in a tiny little town. My mother raised three kids, me and my two brothers. 
on her own. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to do a story of my life. I was really bad at school all throughout my life because of how shy I was and anxious. So I just like would always try to skip school. Story of my life. I don't know. I'm not ready. I'm not ready to share the story of my life. Maybe because that's such like a would be like such a long answer. I'll just do a separate video, a separate build video. Okay, so this is my mushroom house for now. And we're gonna answer the last question now. What got you into gaming? To be honest, what got me into gaming was actually watching my mom play video games growing up. My mom would always buy my older brother like gaming consoles, like PlayStation 1, Nintendo 64. And then my brother like wouldn't really play them all too often. So my mom would play them and I shared a room growing up most like for the majority of my life with my mom. Um, and so she would always play like Super Mario 64 and like Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo-Tooie. And she was like really good at them too. And I was just like so intrigued and like I loved watching it. Like I just remember like she would be sitting on our bedroom floor, just like crisscross applesauce in front of our TV, um, just playing video games. And like I would purposely like bring my blanket and my pillow down next to her and like fall, as fall asleep to watching her play video games. And so that's kind of like what started it. And then also like being a huge Pokemon fan and then like my mom buying Pokemon Battle Stadium for the 64 really got me into playing video games, like learning like how to actually use a controller because I was like still really small when that game came out. So, and I was like really good at the mini games. If anyone ever played Pokemon Battle Stadium, there was like the little mini game option and I was really good at them. I would I would beat my brothers at them all the time. Uh, and then I was also really good at Banjo-Kazooie. I'm still really good. I actually really want to play Banjo-Kazooie like as a series on here. I have a Super Mario 64 playthrough on my channel. It was the first video I ever edited, edited, <laughs> and like put out. But I don't know. It just, I feel like no one watches like old game playthroughs anymore. So I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I'll ever do like a 64, Nintendo 64 series. I want to, but I don't know. Maybe when I start streaming, I'll do some like old old school games. But yeah, my, my mom's the one who got me into gaming, watching my mom play. And then the last question was, do you have any siblings and where are you from? Uh, yes, I do have siblings. I have two brothers. I have an older brother who's three years older than me. So he's 27, I'm 24. So he might be 28 because I turned 25 this year. He's turning 28 this year. I turned 25 this year. And then I have a younger brother who's two years younger than me. And I am from California. I've lived in California my whole life, except for about two months in like 2018, I lived in Arizona. Uh, but yeah, I'm from California. I don't know if I'll ever leave California because I absolutely love how there's just like everything here. Sucks that it's expensive, but I just love that it's like, Oh, you want to go to the desert? Just drive 40 minutes that way. Oh, you want to go to the beach? Just drive 30 minutes that way. Oh, you want to go hiking? There's a giant mountain right there. It just has everything, you know? Like, I love California. Don't love the prices, though. <laughs> okay, well, this was my attempt at a mushroom house. I don't really... I, I, I think I need to look up some inspiration for things, because I don't... I don't know. I don't know how to do furniture in Minecraft. This is my couch. Yeah. Let's go look at the outside. It needs windows. That's what it's missing. Hold on. Hold on. Where's the glass? Ooh, it's too red. Okay. Let's go inside and do this because I don't know where my staircase is. This is not going to be even. <laughs> Oh lord. You know what, let's just go all the way across just to just to make it even. Giant windows. Love them. I'm an, I'm a very natural light person. I love big windows. Mm. 
Okay. Here's my little mushroom house. Maybe I'll add on to it some more. I definitely want to like continue with like creative mode. I want to I want to expand my my builds. I need to learn how to how to do cool builds. I want to make like a giant mushroom tree. <gasps> Ooh, that's going to be the next one. The next one, that's maybe when I do the story of my life. I don't know. We'll do a giant mushroom tree. I need to come up with some different ideas. I'm not good at creative mode. I'm not a I'm not a builder. I think I think it kind of came out cute though. I just need to learn how to make furniture. I thought my kitchen kind of came out cute. There's cake. You know, I, I started a little loft area. I didn't do anything with it though. All right, well, this was my first creative build. I did my best. I found this cute little mushroom town with mushroom cows, wherever they are. Where'd the mushroom cows go? I didn't know like places like this existed. Are these in survival mode? Cause I need to, like if they are, I'm gonna I'm a be going on a walk soon so I can find find a mushroom place. All right, guys, thank you so much for sending in your questions. If you want me to do another Q&A, the questions can literally be about anything. Um, they can even be like really stupid questions. You can either comment them on this video or send them to my Instagram, which is at split brie soup. It's like split pea soup, but with brie in the name. So thank you guys so much for sending in the questions. Hopefully this video wasn't too boring but you know a lot of you asked to get to know me better so thank you thank you hopefully you watched i don't know and if i didn't answer your question if i accidentally missed it um just comment it again down below and it'll be in the next one i enjoyed building and just talking about random stuff it wasn't like too serious it was fun go ahead and ask me questions they can be about anything they don't have to be minecraft related they can be they can be minecraft related but they don't have to be you can even just ask me like what my top 10 favorite colors are i don't know all right guys thank you so much for watching hopefully you tune in for the next one and have an amazing night everyone